Hello and welcome to yet another special episode of the BT Accenture Leadership Dialogues. My name is Ayush Alavadi and enjoying the tech and content space so much, my journey has brought me here to Bengaluru at the Z Tech and Innovation Center. I'm joined by two very special guests in this swanky office, Nitin Mittal at Z and Devyani Ozarde at Accenture. What a pleasure to have you on the show. Welcome Ayush to Z and Tech and Innovation Center. Good to have you here and Devyani, welcome. Thank you, Ayush. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, pleasure to have you on the show. I'd like to start off by asking you all about the journey, Nitin. Credit goes to the team who work together. So we have learned a lot during our journey. Some of them, my colleagues have been together with me for some time. So we all learn in different parts and pockets of our journey. We pick up all the good things, put it all together and try to improve with every step going forward. And a huge, well, chunk of that credit also goes to what Accenture is doing with your technology partnership. Devyani, how does this partnership really work for Accenture? Because it's a very, very crowded, competitive space, especially what Z5 is doing in the OTT space. It's important to be unique. And I'm guessing technology can be the secret sauce. Absolutely. First of all, thank you so much for having us over here. Um, absolutely. Uh, very well put, um, Ayush. Um, Accenture has always been at the forefront of technology um, and we really like to partner with organizations which lead their transformations using technology. It's interesting because, you know, we were chatting earlier, Nitin, and I'd love to share this with our viewers as well. And what I found very interesting is how you differentiated between output and outcome. Yeah. Would you prefer to look at outcome for your team or output? For us, outcome matters. So, uh, no denial that everybody puts in great effort. But when you put efforts in a right sequence, mm -hmm. in a more cohesive way as a team, and you seek help, which means you are transparent if you are struggling at some place, you gradually build trust, and that trust leads to an outcome. So for us, it's, it's that, yes, we also do the same thing, which is break down things into tasks, assign to people, but we make sure that culture is built in such a way that these tasks are cohesive enough for us to deliver an outcome which a business want, which means our consumer and our customers are able to get what they expect from a platform like Z. Strategy playbook. That sort of started our journey wherein we defined what sort of data products we want to build, what are the different decision engines we want to uh, build. And of course, it was a collaborative exercise. Uh, you know, when we had Accenture team working along with the Z team to build this entire playbook together, right? Um, working with various business functions, content, sales, etc. Mm -hmm. Taking their inputs uh, into consideration, understanding their pain points and designing those decision engines which would enable them to take day-to-day -day business decisions right. without really having to scuttle through multiple excels and multiple reports right. and, you know, bringing all that data together of integration do we have within what's happening in this building, in this campus? With those insights coming in perhaps from social media or on-ground events, those sort of audience insights, which can then be used to augment what you're doing uh, at maybe a platform like Z5. Sure, so what we do is when our content is published either on television or Z5, <clears throat> there are enough social media community groups which are available on the known social media platforms, whether it's Instagram or a Facebook, or a Twitter page or many other places. What we are doing right now is bringing on that engagement quotient with the community mm. or with the protagonist or with that script or with the twist and plot inside into how we create scripts for our new episodes. So there is something which we created called Script GPT. Interesting. Uh, and, and we spoke about it in public uh, last month when we unveiled it after a year of work on it. So more, so our top 12 television channel shows, next episodes, scripts are created today using AI, yeah. which has an amalgamation of our previous storylines. Uh, it has all the trends and patterns which are going on in the social media on that topic or similar topic. And of course, through research, societal insights of how few things are changing in a society, but there's a long term trends. We feed into it. We give an option to our uh, script writers saying, here are the four options of twists and plots you can think of associated with potential rating impact. And that uh, gives them a choice, keeping human in the loop to decide what script should be there for the next show. 
we did one small exercise with uh, uh, Z5 a couple of months ago, wherein we looked at multiple data sources. Um, and we did design a playbook that enabled the content team at Z5 to look at data trends, right. uh, content trends, what's working, where are the white spaces, uh, covering all comments. Uh, of course, you can't really look at the, uh, you know, the personal pages, but yeah. all publicly available data across social media platforms yeah. is what we uh, scan through. Apart from that, there was a couple of uh, primary research done which supplemented certain data points that we looked at from an age group and demographic perspective. So we combined uh, primary and secondary data to do that. Nice. That enabled uh, the team to come up with yet another set of, uh, you know, use cases, which are, you know, even more further down the line where they want to know when should they release a particular uh, show, should they do, uh, you know, an entire season drop, or you know uh, an episode drop every monday what should be the release strategy how much marketing uh, is enough should they cast a big uh, you know a big name versus you know a new face what, where is the appetite so on and so forth so there are so many other you know business problems that data is able to solve and yeah. this is you know only scratching the surface at the moment